Hey YouTubers, the working man's pride here today. Today's video is going to be on this Troy Built Pony. I'm having an issue with it, and uh, I never had any type of issue like this before. I don't know whether it's common or not. I doubt it. This machine has a lot of hours on it. I have done a lot of work to it. I probably have uh, probably close to 600 and got another six to go. But I like and I enjoy fixing these things. I know this is nothing special. It's just a, a Troy Bell pony by, made by MTD. And they're known for their name to be considered called multiple troubles daily. But to be honest with you, this thing has been really reliable to me. Um, I've had to do a reasonable... Oh. I'm just now noticing that. That's not good. That's going to have to be... Uh, it's going to have to be welded. Pretty sure, yep. Anyways, this has been pretty reliable, but let's get to the today's issue. I went to go start it up this morning and put it in drive and had it in the seventh gear selector. Just let me tell you that this is not a seven speed transmission. This transmission only has a forward neutral and reverse. The only thing that gives you your seven different speeds is your variable speed pulley on the bottom. And I'll show you that right now. There we go. So that right there is your variable speed pulley. Basically it varies the belt ratios. That way you, you get different speeds. But the problem with it is, is when I have it in 7th gear, it's all fine going down a hill. But as soon as I go up, it's all fine when I'm going down a hill is what I meant to say. But as soon as I'm going up a hill, and you know, it gets, it becomes under load. The clutch on the other side over here, when it's in seventh, when I'm going up a hill, when it's in seventh, you can see that this arm touches this part of the fenders, the fender pan. And when I'm going up a hill, it starts to slow down, and that thing starts to move towards the tire, like as if I'm pushing it in. Never had it do this to me before. I don't think the belts are worn. I did replace them a while back. It was kind of acting a little weird the other day. Um, but I think I might have pinpointed the problem. I'm going to try a simple adjustment. It's an adjustment that, well, it needs to be made anyway. So we're going to see if that does it. If that doesn't do it, then we're going to... I have to order a spring for it or check the tension of the spring with it. Before I order any parts, I'm going to kind of do some trial and error on, uh, you know, what what could it be? Uh, it's a bracket loose under there on a very sweet pulley. I'll figure it out. Um, it could be a springs week. I'm hoping it's a simple adjustment. And I'm going to show you all that simple adjustment here in a minute. Um, I want to start it up, pull it out, and take it for a drive and show you what I mean. And I'll show you what it does.
All right, so unfortunately, I could not get it to do exactly what it was doing before I started to make this video. Um, I decided to make a video on it. Now it doesn't want to do it, but I will show you why it was doing it. So what you're going to want to do is put your tractor in neutral, start it up, move the lever all the way up to 7, and let off and make sure that that uh, clutch arm comes all the way back until it hits the fender assembly. And it'll be fully engaged into 7th. Simply turn the tractor off. Now, it, it ratioed itself to whatever ratio it ratios in seventh. I have no clue, nor do I really care. Would be cool to know, but I don't. I don't know what ratios are what for which numbers. Anyways, so now I'm going to show you why I suspect it's doing what it's doing, and this is pretty simple. You come over to this clutch arm here, and it's all the way in seventh. You want to do this in seventh gear. See all that back and forth movement? That's an issue. And that might explain why I have to push this thing down even further when I try to start it in order to depress the safety switch right here. This thing will not start unless you push this thing down further, even when the parking brake's on. You're supposed to get off of it and let it run. I had to unhook the seat switch, safety switch, in order to let it stay running when I get off of it. But I'm sure this simple adjustment here will might fix the issue, and I'll show you why. Okay, so I'm betting this will probably fix that safety switch issue. So, let me show you why and where all the slops at. If you look right here, that's where the clutch arm goes into. There's some up and down play, back and forth, side to side, in and out. This thing has a lot of hours on it, that's to be expected. But this rod that connects to your clutch arm, it goes all the way back to your variable speed pulley. And when you push in your clutch, it moves it forward. It has a spring over there too, hooked to the back. Well, I don't think it's the spring, what I think it is, is look at all this slop in this thing. And then back here, it has a good bit. I feel, because if you see right here, see all that back and forth? That thing is so loose, it's just, the only thing keeping it in there is that cotter pin up there. Look at all the slop. So I believe if I take the cotter pin out, pull this down, and screw it in a little bit, I'm going to do one turn at a time because you have to make one full turn in order to get it back to, to be able to stick in there. So take it one turn at a time, put it in there, uh, put your cotter pin in, don't bend it back yet, and just check it. You know, and then make sure that it's where it needs to be. So that's what I'm going to do with this thing. I'm going to take the cotter pin out, pull this down, and just turn it in one turn at a time. It's not rocket science yet. All right, you guys, I have got the rod adjusted. There's a lot less play. I want to leave a little bit of play. Um, I didn't want to turn it in any more than that. But that's a lot less play. That right there is acceptable. I could have probably turned it in one more turn. Um, if it gives me a problem, I might do that. But... Come down here. I'm not moving as much. It has the same wiggle wiggle, but as far as slop, about the same. You can see a little bit there. And you gotta also understand that this thing is wallered out on the back side there. Right there. So it's not gonna get perfect. You just gotta tighten it up. Um, 
Yeah, I probably could have taken it one more turn, but like I said, I don't want to put too much tension on it due to the... It's not perfectly round in that hole because it's wallered out a little bit. So, I didn't want to tighten it any more than that. I wanted to leave about this much play because then it would kind of bind it up a little bit and put a lot of stress on... Uneven stress on stuff versus uh, just putting stress on the parts that already have it on there. So, it should... Uh, take care of itself now you can see if you look up here how much I turned it in so yep big improvement no it did not fix the safety switch you still have that's about where it stops for seventh so I have to push it all the way in um, but let me put it in seventh and show you what I mean I meant to say the parking brake now, uh, so that's what I mean. When you get to get on it, it's in the parking. It's in park. It's, it, lo it looks like it's in one, but it's not. It's in park. The brake rod's actuated. This is actuated all the way over. Full tension on uh, this. Don't mind the belt. Um, but you still have to push it in to the press the safety switch. Now, I don't see a slot here on the safety switch so it's not like you can just move it down and this here it doesn't really look like you can really move it down because I don't know I guess the only other fix to do with that would be to bend this piece right here up towards the the switch so kind of like put it in first and then bend it up and keep going in tiny increments um or maybe maybe it's something else but i'd just bend it if i was in your situation you can always bend it back um worst case scenario if it breaks you can weld it anyways thank you guys for watching this video i believe that this should take care of my issue um if you got excessive slop and you clutch and when you go uphill if it starts to kind of back towards the tire and you know slow down try adjusting that just go out there and you got to put it in seventh gear so oh that's not good for it um you got to put it in seventh gear start it up let it run in neutral that way it can ratio the belt to whatever ratio the seventh is and then check your slop Alrighty, thank you for watching. Workman's Pride.